Hi everybody, Jennifer Juanita's here. I'm in Stockton, California at Victory Park. And it's just a lovely park here in Stockton. It's a good walking park. There's a sidewalk that goes all the way around so you can do a really nice walk. I heard it's a mile long, but I don't know. Anyway, um, we're actually here because we're gonna go into the Hagen Museum. And uh, remember, Hagen like wagon. That's how I remember to say it properly, Hagen like wagon. But the Hagen Museum is like a hidden gem here in Stockton. Uh, if you're from Stockton, you know about it, but I think people out of the area aren't so familiar with it. Um, it's half art museum and half history museum. And there are some really uh, famous artists here that you can see their works of art all over the world, like Bierstadt, Renoir, Jerome, Verbeer, uh, I can't remember them all. Oh, and Lion Decker. So we're actually here to see the um, Frito Kahlo exhibit. Today's the last day. So we're trying to get in and see it. It's called um, Frida Kahlo's Garden. So um, yeah, let's go inside and check it out. Here we are at the start of the Frida Kahlo exhibit at the Hagen. I love the vibrant colors that they use throughout. The exhibit is a tribute to Frida Kahlo's culture, portrayed through her elaborate garden and her home in Mexico known as Casa Azul, the Blue House. Here we see an ofrenda. An ofrenda is a Spanish word for offering. It's a home altar traditionally displayed in Mexico for the Dia de los Muertes, or Day of the Dead, a tribute for the deceased. Here it is, a tribute to Frida Kahlo. Some beautiful photos of Frida. This was probably my favorite part of the exhibit. Just gorgeous, rich colors. I love that pink. Next, there was an example of what Frida's art studio looked like with some tools of the trade displayed here. And an example of Frida's clothing and her style. It was too bad they didn't have any actual artwork of Frida's, but it was a lovely exhibit. Okay, now we're going to see some of my favorite pieces in the rest of the museum, starting with J.C. Leyendecker, an American illustrator of the early 20th century best known for his advertising illustrations, such as the Kellogg's Kids campaign and the Arrow Collar Man. He painted more than 400 magazine covers, including numerous covers for the Saturday Evening Post. In Lion Decker's will, he instructed his life partner, Charles Beach, to destroy his work upon his death, uh, which he did, but luckily his sister, Lion Decker's sister, had many of his works that she kept and now here at the museum. Oh, this is a new area to the museum dedicated to Jean-Léon Jerome. He was a French painter and sculptor. He's considered one of the most important painters from the academic period. Uh, here is a self-portrait of the man working in his studio, creating a sculpture. Uh, the painting is called Working in Marble. And to the right, you'll see the hoop dancer that was also in the painting, a figurine here displayed right next to it. Here we see some American and French artists, some portraits, landscape, some impressionism, and scenes just generally around France by different artists. Uh, next we have German-American artist Albert Bierstadt, most famous for the large western landscape she, he created such as this one scene of the Yosemite Valley. As we leave the Hagen Museum, here is a beautiful view of Victory Park. The ponds, the ducks, the playgrounds, the people, and of course the palm trees. Just another beautiful winter day in Northern California. Okay, so we just uh, finished uh, checking out the exhibit at the Hagen Museum. Bless you. 
The exhibit was kind of small, not really what I expected, but it's still interesting. And then we did walk around, look at a lot of the art and some of the history portion of the museum as well. So I highly recommend uh, you come to the Hagen Museum, especially if you're not from here, it's worth the trip. It's in a beautiful part of town and a beautiful park and you will not be disappointed. So give it a try. Bye everyone.